Hi there! In this video, you will learn how to connect devices supported by Bellina to UbiDots through Bellina Blocks. In a couple words, Bellina Blocks are pre-built containers that help with rapid prototyping. For this guide, you will need to have the device already added to a fleet in Bellina. For more reference, please view our video on how to provision devices to Bellina and connect them to UbiDots. As you may see here, I already have a device created in Bellina and it's already added to a fleet. To begin, go to our UbiDots Bellina repository at GitHub, and from there, you can find the examples. In this video, we will use the Python example. Just download these files and open them with any code editor that you choose. As you may see, there are three files, a dockerfile.template, a docker compose, and a Python script that we'll be running, in this case, through a Raspberry Pi 3. In the dockerfile.template, you really don't have to modify anything since it was made so that it automatically detects which device you are using. Now the docker compose file is basically where we will establish the containers that will be deployed on the device. In this case, we have two main containers. The main, which is, well, where we will be running the main services, and the ubidots Bellina container, which in this case is going to act like an MQTT broker. In this case, in the Python script, we will be using the Paho library to connect to MQTT, but we won't be connecting directly to ubidots, but instead, the Python script will connect to the ubidots Bellina broker, which will be hosted in this container. Here at the Python script, we may see that the Paho library is connecting not to the cloud broker of ubidots, that is, industrial.api.ubidots.com, Instead, it's connecting to the ubidots Bellina container, and it's doing so through the port 1883, that is, the insecure port. This doesn't matter, since the ubidots Bellina container is held within the device, so it makes no sense to have a secure connection. However, the ubidots Bellina broker does connect to the cloud ubidots broker through the secure port, that is, 8883. In this code, we may see that we can send values either to a device or to a variable. If you'd like to send to a device, just simply leave the topic as a slash and then in the payload define, well, the variables that you're going to send the data to. If you want to send the data directly to a variable, just put the variable label in the topic and then define the payload. On the same sense, we can subscribe to variables. Either we can subscribe to a whole dot by specifying the variable label, or we can also subscribe to the last value of a dot, also by defining the variable label. The last step would be to save these files, and in a terminal, go to the directory where these files are saved, and use the Bellina push command to send them to the cloud. At this step, the command will begin building the images that will be uploaded onto the device. You will know that the process has finished once you see a unicorn in the terminal. In the meantime, while the image builds, we can go and define the environment variables where we will define the ubidots token, which is required, and if you don't want the Bellina block to use the Bellina UUID as the device label in ubidots, we can also specify the ubidots device label. To find the ubidots token, simply go to the ubidots account and under the API credentials menu, copy the ubidots token. Now, let's specify the ubidots device label. Once that's done, the device should anytime begin sending data to UbiDots. You can check that on the logs for the device. As you can see here, it's sending the data to UbiDots and it's also subscribing to the variables that we had specified in the code. In this case, it's showing the last value for the humidity. If we go to the UbiDots, we may now see 
that a new device has been created and if we hop into the device, we may see the values that are being received for each of the variables. Now that we've gone through this process, you may now send data to UbiDots through Bolina Blocks. If you have any other questions or doubts, please refer to our article in our help center on connecting your Bolina app to UbiDots. Thanks for watching us and we'll see you on the next integration video.